Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to calculate the number of bricks in one square meter for the following types of brick walls. The first one is a half brick wall, which consists of one skin. The second one, a one brick wall, which consists of two skins. The third one is a one and a half brick wall, which consists of three skins. Now the type of bond that our brickwork is in is the stretcher bond. Now just to mention a few, there's also uh, English bond and Flemish bond and several others, but I'm not going to get into them because uh, for this exercise we are working with a stretcher bond. Now, the bonding of brickwork just basically refers to the arrangement in which brickwork is laid so that the units are tied together to form a solid mass. The stretcher bond basically consists of the bricks laid lengthways along the horizontal line of our wall. Now, for the size of the brick, we are going to be using the standard imperial brick size which is made up of a 222 millimeter by 106 by 73 millimeters, all right? And another important thing that we need to note is that uh, an assumption of 10 millimeter for the joint size has been made. So in order for us to be able to uh, calculate the number of bricks that are required, we will have to take that 220 millimeters, add our 10 millimeter joint size to it to get the total length, and then also for our vertical, which is 73 millimeter, we are going to add the 10 millimeter joint size to it. So that is why it is important for us to note uh, the size of our joint. Now moving on to the calculations. The first thing that we are going to do is to calculate the number of bricks that we need horizontally and also vertically. And Ultimately, we're going, to, we're going to multiply those two together in order to get the total number of bricks that are required uh, in a one square meter wall, right? Now to start with the horizontal first, we are going to take the 222 millimeter plus the 10 millimeter joint size, which will give us 232 millimeters. Right? And then we'll take 1000, which is our one meter, 1,000 millimeters divided by 232 millimeters to give us 4.310 bricks. Now, I like working to three decimal places for accuracy. And what I will do is that I will just round up uh, my final answer. But for now, we're just going to leave it to three decimal places. Moving on to the vertical side, we will take our 73 millimeters, add 10 millimeters to it, which will give us 83 millimeters. Then we'll say 1,000 divided by 83 millimeters, which is equal to 12.048. So like I said, we would take the 4.310, multiply it with the 12.048, and then we will get 51.92 bricks, all right? And then in our final answer, that's when I round up to 52 bricks because we do not have 51.92 bricks. So we rounded up to 52 bricks. That is in a half brick wall, which consists of what? A single skin. And then our one brick wall, we'll just say 52 multiplied by two, which gives us 104 bricks. And then one and a half brick wall, we'll say 52 multiplied by three, which gives us 156 bricks. For your cavity wall as well, you would have the same, same number of bricks that you have for your one brick wall. Now stay tuned to this channel because uh, in the following videos, we will work out uh, mortar requirements. We will work out um, the rate that is required for brickwork, foundation, superstructure, and so on. Just keep your eyes glued to my channel, and yeah, you will not regret it. Uh, I'm excited. The end. Now, please forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in.